All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we are heading to the mall to pick up those Jordan 1 bread patent leathers. All right, I hit on a um, the Finish Line exclusive access and I'm headed to obviously a local Finish Line in my area. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go pick those up today. Um, yeah, but before we get into that, if it's your first time here, you know, please do me a favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop new videos. Now, gotta let you know, I ended up hitting on the, um, the GS pair. So I'm gonna pick those up just to give y'all a look at them on the channel. But from what I hear, material wise and everything, they seem to be pretty much spot on with the men's pair. So, and while we're talking about finish line and everything, I just wanna talk about finish line's whole release process from the start. Like, before they even had reservations on the app, I actually used to hit all the time on different, you know, uh, you know, pickups and whatnot. But as soon as they went to the app reservation, it was L City. You know, I could not hit on anything, right? Um, I maybe took like a couple W's here and there, but not not a lot. You know, I just totally just forgot about finish line because I took so many L's. Um, but once they went over to this exclusive access thing, I'm really liking it so far. I was able to get exclusive access for the Cool Gray 11s. Um, and also, um, I was able to get access on the um, uh, the Bread Patent Leather GS pair. This is for store pickup, as well as the, um, actually, I forgot. I think I hit on the men's pair too. But by the time I got into the app to choose the size for my store, it was sold out in my size, so I didn't pick them up. Uh, but luckily, I'm able to get the GS pair so I can give y'all a look at something. Um, but then I noticed like a day later or so, they actually ended up doing the, um, um, the exclusive access for the online release, which was cool because I wanted to try there as well, but that was like almost impossible, right? Um, so I didn't hit on that, obviously. Um, it took a while to get into the app and whatnot, or by the time I got there, you know, it was it was pretty much done. It was no chance. So here we are. We're heading to the mall. Grab these shoes. Once we get there, I'll go ahead and pick them up. I don't know if I'm doing recording in the store because I don't know. Sometimes I don't like doing it. I know some stores don't like it, but anyway, I'll give you a look at the shoes once we get back into the car and everything. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we're back in the car. I just picked up the Jordan One Bread patents. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at them. All right. Let me get them out the bag here. Let's do the finish line bag. All right. Give me one second here. Let me pull this tag off. That's one thing about this. They actually. Um... All right. The box is kind of beat up. I don't like that at all. But here we have it. Jordan One Bread box. Uh, the patent. As you can see, the uh, box is got a glossy tint to it. So it's like your standard Jordan 1 box, except for the black is in that kind of glossy, um, I guess, got that glossy look to it. I guess it's supposed to resemble the patent leather. All right, and look at the side of the box, man. Look at that. Ripped right there, ripped on this side. Like, come on. Then ripped on that side. Like, and I asked the guy about it, said, you know, I guess the shipping and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But like I said earlier, this is the GS size six. Um, and there's your size tag information on that side, if you're curious. All right. Let's go ahead and open them up. All right. Get this one out. Oh, and it comes with the extra laces. Okay, shoe is in pretty good shape. It's just the box is all beat up. I don't know if I can fix that or not. I mean, it just looks pretty bad. But anyway, here we have it, guys. The Jordan 1 bread pattern. These things are nice. I really wish I could have got, you know, the men's size shoe. Like this shoe is just so clean. Obviously you got that black and red patent leather all over the upper of the shoe. Um, you got your Jordan Wings logo here. And for the most part, like I said, it's a GS size. It looks pretty similar to what I've seen online with the, um, the men's pair. Um, but overall, just really nice shoe and I'm really feeling it. I wish, I wish I could have got my size. Like I really like this shoe. Um, just know this toe box right there. Obviously, red toe box. Got your perforations there. As you move up, you've got that black nylon tongue. All right. And you've got your Nike Air branding on the tab up top there. All right. And you've got an extra set of laces here in red. Take a look at the inside real quick here. 
This is a really, really nice shoe. All right. On the inside here, I've noticed that you've had like that family text there on the inside of the ankle collar, which is pretty cool. Never seen that before. All right. And the insole while we're there, you got a black insole with your red Nike Air branding. All right. All right. That's really, really nice there. Really, really liking this shoe. I need my size. Okay. Take a look at the medial side. You guessed it. Same thing, y'all. Um, you got that nice black and red patent leather all over the shoe. This is just super clean. Like, this shoe is fire. I really like this. Also, as you can see, with all Jordan 1s, you got your white midsole there. And there's your heel. Typical Jordan 1, just black and red patent leather all over. And for the sole of the shoe, you've got your red outsole there, your standard Jordan 1 outsole with your Nike Air branding right there in the middle. So overall, y'all, really, really fire shoe, man. I'm just, I wish, like, this is actually, I don't know if I'm going to, I mean, just wish I could have got my size, honestly. Like, obviously, I just want to get this on the channel for you guys to give you some looks at the shoe if you're planning on picking them up yourself. So at least you can see kind of what to expect. Um, yeah, I just wish that this box is, look at this thing. Look at the top of it. Come on now. Come on. But yeah. I guess that's just what it is. Who knows? Anyway, I guess that'll be about all, guys, for the Jordan 1 bread patent. Um, please do me a favor. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and don't forget to turn that notification bell on. I'm dropping content like this all the time. So if this is your thing, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.